What's up everybody? Hope y'all are doing well today. So this video, yeah, it's on organization. Um, I feel really embarrassed, you know, if I were to show you the behind the scenes of my shop in its current state right now, it's, it's god awful. Uh, just got done with a huge project, so I really ha haven't had much time to clean. But as far as organizing, it's, it's really gotten me thinking that I, I need to start, well, organizing the shop. So the first course of action is to start making some storage units uh, to put up on my French cleat wall. And the first one I'm going to go with is something to store uh, my orbital sander right here. I've been putting it uh, through its paces a lot lately. And with all the various grits of sandpaper that I've been using, I really need to get those organized. So that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to take this sheet of three quarter inch plywood you see behind me, uh, some plans that I drew up last night on SketchUp, and uh, get to town. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, so now that all the side pieces, the top and the bottom and the middle piece are uh, cut to the correct length and width, it's time to start cutting out, what is it, about 32, 36 uh, small datas to hold all the uh, shelving pieces that will be going in. Uh, I found the easiest way for me to do this is I have inserted just one uh, blade of my dado stack. Uh, the blade has a perfect uh, 3 16 width and every other blade is a flat cut uh, grind or whatever you call it so that's perfect it's going to give a nice smooth bottom and uh, i've already done one test cut and wood slides right on in there nice and easy not too tight not too loose because i do want to be able to slide these shells in and out so this is going to work out great so stay tuned for a nice little time lapse of 30 something dados. Here we go. Yay. Okay, new day. Had to run in the other night, take care of my four year old, got a little boo boo, so that was a little challenging getting him to go to bed. So, anyway, now we're going to cut all these dados. Okay, so for the rabbits and datas for my box, um, by no means do you have to do this method. Uh, simple box joints, pocket hole screws, or, or even just some brad nails and glue. I mean, I'm still going to use glue, but anyway, any of those other methods would work just fine. Uh, for me, I think my dado stack was just uh, feeling a little lonely, hasn't been used that much, so I just want to get some practice in anyway, so this is the uh, method I chose to go with. So I'm going to finish up and we can finally start putting this box together.
helps when you have air on. Of course we get one blowout. And finally done. Boy, this one took me now three days to finally finish this, this little project. Not that it's hard by any means. I'd bet that anybody on a normal schedule could probably knock this out probably a couple hours, uh, if that. Uh, me, I have a hectic schedule, and of course there's those times when you know you get called away, just like I did the other night. The sun had a little, little boo-boo, so I had to go get that taken care of. So, anyway. Uh, another thing, right off the bat, wanted to apologize, totally lost the footage, maybe didn't hit the play button, who knows, but didn't get the footage of cutting out the uh, rabbit joints for the corners. Again, don't know what happened, but for those who don't know, it's basically a dado, which I did in the middles right here, or middle, uh, except it's going to be at the end of the piece of wood, and that just makes a nice, strong joint. Not saying it's really necessary for shop furniture like this. I Again, I probably said it earlier, but a, a nice butt joint probably worked just fine. I just wanted to practice at it. So, anyway, for those of you who made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. Why don't you go ahead and uh, leave me a comment and let me know where you live in this big old world of ours. That'd be kind of cool to see where everybody's from. You don't have to be detailed. So, anyway, just a state or country or whatever. And I'll be sure to leave a comment back. Thank you uh, for leaving that comment. Uh, for me, I live in Virginia, United States of America, out in the country. Whew, it's beautiful out here. So anyway, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button so you don't miss any, miss any future videos. And trust me, I have plenty of them coming. A lot of organizing to do in this shop. So again, anyway, thank you, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.